This tutorial will guide you through the navigation and some of the basic tools of Tinkery. Hello, my name is Gabby. I will be walking you through Tegrity. We'll show you the ins and outs of the program. I'm currently logged into Blackboard and can access Tegrity from my class. Okay, so let's click on the Tegrity Classes link from the Blackboard um, system. Click No for security warning. And that should bring us to the Tegrity screen. One of the main reasons we use Tegrity is to record lectures. Students will have access to lectures and can view them online whenever they want. They can also download it to their computers if they wish. I will now show you some of the basic features of Tegrity. This is the main menu of the Tegrity screen. Um, on this screen, it shows all the past lectures. Okay, the ones that are bold, um, bolded, those are lectures that have been recorded but have never been viewed. So this one, those three hasn't been viewed. All of these have been viewed. And those lectures are being uploaded as we speak. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and look at some of the past lectures that we have on here. Let's look at this one, September 9th, and you just click play and you can view the lecture. This is basically what the student will be looking at. Okay, it might take a minute. Okay. This is the lecture screen and the student will be able to see exactly what the instructor did on their desktop and also listen to the lecture. On the left hand side, this is just a stock photo. Okay, let's close this. Okay, let's look at August 28th. Okay, we'll do play. And this is being loaded as we speak. Okay, see in this recorded lecture, if you look on the left hand side, um, during this recording there was actually a webcam. And then this is, of course, whatever was captured on the desktop uh, that the instructor was trying to show the students. Okay. So from this screen, to get back to the uh, main menu to the courses, the recorded um, lectures. I can just click on the link, William, under um, after my integrity. And it will take me back to the list of prior recordings. And if I click here, I can collapse the thumbnail and I'll just see the list of courses or lectures that have been recorded. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a recording. Let's see what it looks like. Um, all you have to do is click record a class in the top left corner and the Tegrity recorder starts. starts. Okay, course in this um, example, the course is William. There's a list of a whole bunch of courses, but we're using William. And you can actually change the title. The default is the date and time. Okay, select a picture. You can have a stock picture or you can actually use a webcam. As you can see, we're using a webcam. You can make sure your webcam is situated just right. Um, there's make sure your audio is working and you do record a class so you can start recording okay so let's go ahead and click record a class and it tells you that the Tegrity software will begin recording your voice and desktop actions after you select OK so once you're ready to start the lecture you can go ahead and click OK and whatever you show on your desktop will be recorded whatever you say will be um, um, recorded for audio okay so let's go ahead and click OK and then we'll just do some sample lectures see what it will look like okay so recording will start the screen goes black and we'll go to let's do a PowerPoint we'll pretend to be doing a lecture on mail merge the objective today we'll discuss you know how to create mail merge the main document blah 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 and 
whatever is shown on the screen again will be captured on integrity whatever I say will be recorded so this is the lecture you go through the lecture once you're done with the lecture and you're satisfied down in the bottom right you can click stop recording do you want to end the recording upload preview delete will set upload in the background say yes so we're done recording our lecture and if you look in the status bar we have integrity recording completed recording will be uploaded later and basically this tells you that is the recording is being uploaded onto integrity okay so now if I come back into this screen the main integrity screen I'll be able to see the class that is being uploaded there it is that's the one that we just completed 41 seconds long and it was recorded today it will be available soon okay so basically once you record your lecture all the instructor will have to do is to give the students a link so the students will have access to the lecture online you have to check a, a class <laughs> you go to action get a class link so you check the one you want a link for and there's the link you can post this on your class website or send it in an email to your students if you want the students to log in before they can view the lecture you can check this box okay and that's it as far as recording um, a class using integrity okay that was a quick overview on how to record a lecture for future viewing now that we've seen how the lectures recorded via integrity let's hear from our parents and students on the advantages of being able to watch a lecture at a later time. I love the fact that you can log on to the lecture at a later time. If my child is sick, he can log on to the computer at home and watch what he missed. Technology is an amazing thing. I like it because if I miss something in class, I can just remember what the teacher said. I love it because when I miss something at school, I can hear what my teacher says again.